Do a quick one wheel accessory search and you'll find a lot of high priced and seemingly overpriced items to go along with your expensive one wheel. I mean, check out this bag, $225? And a car holder for $70? It's a piece of plastic. Check this out, a charger for a hundred, 110 bucks? And then a pouch to hold that charger for nearly half that price? I mean, if you're going to make a pouch, make it at least one fourth the price of the charger. Oh, my bad, here we go. You got it right, Future Motion. A charger for over $200, there. Now the price of the pouch is warranted. What's the least expensive accessory on the One Wheel website? It's these little power port plugs. They probably should have been included with the One Wheel. That would be more useful than those One Wheel business cards I'm collecting, but that's my opinion. Today I want to share with you the most expensive accessory I have for my One Wheel. It may be expensive, but if you have it, you won't need this car stand. On this day, I'm taking a bunch of kids, including my son, to their first ever high school cross country meet. It's a big meet with over 50 schools attending. That means a lot of people and not very much parking. No nearby parking spot? No problem. I just drop off these kids and I go park somewhere far, far away. So there she is, my most expensive one wheel accessory, my Tesla Model 3. I love that my pint fits so comfortably in the frunk. That's electric vehicle talk for the front trunk. Since there's no engine, there's storage in Teslas in both the front and the back of the vehicle. I can store my pint, helmet, and gloves nicely in the frunk without having to worry about the pint rolling all over the place. It works quite nicely. While the Tesla was not built for the one wheel pint, it almost seems like the designers had the one wheel in mind when they put this together. The Tesla acts like a carrying case, a transportation device, a secure storage device, and it's 100% electric, just like the one wheel. So in a way, the two products are like cousins. When I get to a destination, or if I'm at a charging station, I just pull the one wheel out of the frunk and I go for a ride. Who knows, with the headquarters of Future Motion in Tesla in Northern California, Maybe they'll get together one day during lunch and they'll do a partnership. And one day we'll be able to buy the one wheel, an expensive one wheel bag, an expensive charger, stand, and maybe a Tesla, all on the Future Motion website to help elevate our one wheel experience to the next level. Oh, I also wanted to follow up on that Tiger Lock. Many of you are excited to find out about this product, one of the few locks that works on the pint. Some of you complain that it's not secure enough. Let me reiterate, here I'm locking it up to this fence post. I want to be able to watch my son compete. I don't want to have to focus on the pint and worry about it getting stolen. And so, I'm nearby, there's a big crowd, and I'm happy just locking it up to the fence so that I don't have to give it my full attention for a short period of time. Now let's talk about my son. He's a little guy. Where is he? Look at this big crowd. There he is. Look at how small he is compared to the crowd around him. It's in this crowd that he gets knocked over a couple times and even loses his shoe. Go Daniel! Go Daniel! How are you feeling? Yes. Bad? Yeah, Why? First time out? Yeah. I got pushed and twisted my ankle. And my oh, no. shoe got untied. And I lost the tag that kept my time. And then second time, I got pushed again. My shoe came off. So then I was just holding it and ran barefoot. So you finished the whole thing barefoot? Just one foot half. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you learned from that. Do you know what your time is, though? Probably like 21.30. Yeah. I have to be honest, I was kind of disappointed that my son didn't know how to properly tie his shoe, but I'm even more impressed of his resourcefulness and his willingness to run with just one shoe for half the race. 
And that's what us Changs are all about. We're a resourceful people. Shoe come off during the biggest race ever in your life? Just run without it. Need a lock for the one wheel pint but can't find one? I'm gonna find it. Oh yeah, and the winner of that Tiger Lock giveaway from my last video about the one wheel security tips? Check your YouTube notifications because I've contacted you. Once you respond, I'll put your name down in the comments below. Special thanks to Tiger Lock for sponsoring this video and for making a sweet product that works for locking up my pint. I hope you like this video. It's more of a vlog style where I try to blend my everyday activities that surround the one wheel. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, tell me why in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and make sure to wear your safety gear.